So I agreed it was a confliction of interest, fine, whatever. Then this event came along in 1993 called the Ultimate Fighting Championship. And um, I thought, okay, this is the fast growing pay-per-view. I, I read about it. I said, I, as Michael's manager, my job was to get him into every big event there was. Mm. So I called up and made a deal for him uh, to do UFC 5-6 five, uh, five, and Ultimate Ultimate, a three-fight deal, three-event deal. So I got him a big paycheck, but he was getting a big, big paycheck from WCW Wrestling at the time. He loved wrestling, uh, the days of Hulk and Sting and all that stuff. Uh, and he would do the Monday Night Nitros and the pay-per-views and making just, you know, we made a very big deal with him. But he's allowed to do other stuff, so I got him in the UFC. Now we're in Casper, Wyoming for UFC uh, 5 and or 6, 6, 7, whatever, just one of those UFCs right there. Sorry, I'm brain farting for a second. And this is when Tank Abbott came on the scene and all. So they, at dinner the night before, they told Michael, we want you to go in the octagon and say, if it's not in the octagon, it's not real, right? Back then, with all respect, wrestling is sports entertainment, right? And I have so much respect for you guys because I know from fighters that have done it, they get hurt more doing your sport mm. than it actually going out and fighting for real. But those guys, you know, they go at it. You can have, you can, you can have anything predetermined you want. Things happen, okay? Yeah. So I really highly respect wrestling. But um, they wanted you to, to think when Hulk Hogan blasted you, you know, 20 times in the face that that was it. Well, your face would be hamburger, you know, if he's yeah. really laying that down. 